My name is Lloyd Sutherland. I'm an applications engineer here at Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems here in Summit, New Jersey. And I'd like to introduce to you today our 50AS spiral jet mill. Uh, before, as with any equipment, um, make sure that you wear your safety glasses. The spiral jet mill is a tabletop laboratory mill. It's capable of achieving particle size distributions of a D97 less than 5 microns with most materials, and it's material dependent. Um, bat sizes, this mill can run, um, can process bat sizes. I process bat sizes down to 1 to 2 grams of material. Once again, density dependent. Um, this mill works very well with crystalline materials, not very well with fibrous materials. There are no moving parts within this mill. Milling is done purely by particle against particle and also by impact against the size of the chamber. I will actually um, disassemble the mill to show you the internals. Um, during milling, the maximum pressure typically is about 6 bar pressure, which is approximately 90 PSI. Let's disassemble the mill. Um, you have two pressures. You have an injector pressure and a grinder pressure. The injector pressure acts like a venturi to pull the feed material into the mill and then it accelerates the particles into the mill where grinding occurs. So you feed the material at this point here. This here is called a grinding ring. And as you see inside of the chamber here, this portion right here, this is the chamber, and this here is also the chamber. This nozzle ring has four grinding nozzles. The compressed air only goes through these nozzles, no material and accelerates the particles. The particles collide with each other, impact against the size of the chamber. And when this nozzle ring is sitting on top of this discharge hopper, material, when it gets fine enough, is discharged via this, this um, discharge into the filter bag here. At the bottom, the material is collected inside of this filter bag, which acts as a filter bag and a collection bag at the same time. This is a one liter filter bag. For larger bat sizes, we have a five liter container. So uh, material just deposits in a five liter container for larger bat sizes. Thank you very much.